Welcome back to Our Gist. Today's question is leak code two, add two numbers. You're given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order and each of their nodes contains a single digit. Add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. You may assume the two numbers do not contain any leading zeros except the number zero itself. So with this question, the most important thing to remember is that it's in reverse order and also we contain single digits. So in example one, we have these two linked lists. Our output is seven, zero, eight. So we have two and five, which add up to give us seven. We have six and four, which add up to give 10. And because this is in reverse order, we can carry over the one to the next value. So this will be equal to zero. We carry over one, and then we have three plus four, which is equal to seven, we add that with the one that we carried over, which is equal to eight. So there's a combination of basic arithmetic and link this to solve this problem. Let's dive into the solution. So for this solution, we are going to need two variables. We're going to need sum, which is going to be initially set at zero. And this is going to be adding these values in the linked list together as we go along through the linked list. And we're also going to need a variable called carry, which will be initially set to zero. And this is just going to be like in the case where we have six and four, which is equal to 10. 10 is two digits, so we need to carry one of those over. We can update carry and pass that to the next value within the linked list. And the great thing is that these linked lists are reversed, so we can carry towards the right. Right, so we can start this. So we're going to be populating a new linked list as we go along. So we can create a list's head, which we can set at zero. Then we need to check so L1 and L2, we need to check if L1 doesn't equal null or L2 doesn't equal null. As long as we have one of these values, which isn't equal to null, we can carry out this process of adding these values up. So we add L1's value to sum. Then we move its pointer to four. We add L2's value to sum. Then we update its pointer. We check to see if the sum is greater than 10. If it is, then we'll increment carry. But in this case, the sum is less than 10. So we don't need to do that. We can create a new node within our new linked list and set its nodes value to seven, which is the value of sum. Then we can set sum back to zero and start the process again. We have six and four. We add those to sum. So that's equal to 10. We now have two digits here. So we need to carry one of those over. We update carry to one and we can set this to one for simplicity because in the question statement, it says that the nodes only contain single digits. So say, for example, we had double digits, so we had 10 and 10. That will equal 20. We'd have to carry over two values, but because they're only single digits within each node, we only ever have to carry over one. So that simplifies the process a bit. So now that we've carried one over, this essentially equals 10. So we need to subtract 10 from the current value of sum. So that will set sum to zero. And then we update our new link list with the value of zero. And sorry, head should have been updated to here before. Then we'll update head to equal this zero value. So now that we've done that process, we still have one thing to do, and that's to add carry to our sum. Because before we move over to these values right here, we need to update sum so that when we add these values together, we can add that extra one onto it. So now we can add the values of the nodes within list one and list two. So we have three being added to one, which is four, and then another four added onto here. So that is equal to eight. This isn't greater than 10. So we can add a new node to our linked list, pass in eight, set sum to zero. And then these values will be pointing to null. Once we're out of bound for both these linked lists, we can return list.next, which will be from here onwards. Now there is one edge case that we haven't covered within this example, and that's in the case where we have a linked list like this. So let's run through this one. So sum is equal to zero, carry is equal to zero. We start at these nodes, we add these together. So that's equal to 18. We carry one over, sum is equal to eight. We have this new list that we've created. We set the value to eight, we update sum to equal carry, carry set to zero. Nine plus nine is 18. We add one onto that, so that's 19. There's two digits here, so we need to carry one of those over. We subtract 10 from that, so that's going to equal nine. We update this 
two nine, sum is set to carry, carry set back to zero. So now we're at this point, right? We're at a point where one of the values we're pointing to is null. But we said at the start, if one of the values doesn't equal null, then we can still carry out the process. So we'll do that. We'll add this value to the sum, which is going to equal 10. There are two digits here, so we need to carry one over. We subtract 10 from this value. So that's set to zero. We can add this to our linked list. And then we update sum to equal the value of carry. Now we're at this point, right? So we have two values that are pointing to null. And this is our edge case. Because in our current solution, if the two values are pointed to null, we just end up returning list.next. So we'd return this section here. But we have a value within sum that we need to carry over. So we also need an additional check to see whether sum doesn't equal zero. If it doesn't, then we carry out the process again. So we add value of zero. So this pointer is null, this pointer is null. Sum is not greater than 10. So we can just add the value of sum to our list. Then we set sum to carry. Sum is now equal to zero. Both the lists are equal to null. So we can return list.next, which will be 8901. Okay, so let's start off by defining list, which will be a new list node. So at zero, we'll set the head to equal list. And we also need sum and carry. So the conditions that are going to determine whether this loop is run is or well, l1 doesn't equal null or l2 doesn't equal null or sum doesn't equal zero so if l1 doesn't equal null we can add to sum the value of l1 and then we just update the pointer so l1 equals l1 dot next we'll do the same for l2 so if L2 doesn't equal null, we add its value to the sum and we update L2 to L2.next. Now we have to make the check if sum is greater than 10. So if sum is greater than or equal to 10, we have to carry one over. So we set carry to one and we update sum to equal sum minus 10. Then we add a new node onto our linked list. So head.next, it's going to be equal to new list node and we pass in the value of sum we update head to equal head.next so we move that along sum is then updated to carry then carry is set to zero and lastly we'll return list.next okay let's give that a run great let's submit it there you go 